being very careful with how you drop it is it is not only a tactic but mandatory to find success here without a doubt it's coming in early finding an opportunity to strike and then if you send somebody in a little too early and then your anchor your fifth slot is one of your weaker players it can be a spot to struggle we finally got in confirmation that it's going to be blue coast guardian versus gear five starting things off on final destination so crown versus wolf here ducks who are you giving that initial advantage to on a stage like final destination so for me, I, I love playing Wolf. He's one of my characters in my repertoire. And I am not a huge fan of the Croy matchup because that that disjoint on the sword it, yeah. becomes very hard to take care of. Plus, getting countered on a recovery doesn't feel good. But playing with the blaster camping definitely makes this game a little bit more open. And you can already see right now, finding your stray hits using Nair and finding those follow-ups off the down throw lead to huge openings for the Wolf player. The openings have been large, and it feels like Wolf is trying to keep their own there. Wow, a great read as they're able to knock the back Krom up into the air. 113% on the board. Rush down from Krom, trying to equalize. And I think Gear 5 going to be a little bit nervous in the current circumstance of just being not a super heavy character, not having a lot to work with at 100%. It's somewhere you're going to be starting to worry a bit. But once you dash attack off stage with absolutely miserable DI, poor Lucos can't do a darn thing about it, loses that first stock. Every hit here is extra credit for Gear 5, and that feels like what they're going to look for is to rack up as much of that extra credit as they can. Oh, and unfortunately, Glucos misses the uh, jab into back air. Pretty staple kill confirm on the uh, Krom and Roy players, but a lot of smash attacks are coming out. We know Krom can kind of abuse that because of yeah. the consistency across the hitbox on that sword. And right now, I'd love to see a couple more of these landing aerials, whether it be a landing up air or something else on the side of Glucos Guardian, but walks up into the down smash, and we see... Uh, Pretty big lead for Gear 5 right now. Gear 5 has a strong lead, and it's not going to stay as large, but it's definitely going to be a comfortable one. It's still a full stock in the lead, 39% off stage. Oh, that recovery always makes my heart drop because it is so easy to whip and send yourself right down into that blast zone. 81% forward smash. Find some value recovery. Read like a book. One of the most punishable in the game, if you ask me. And Rom just can't make it back. That's a fancy one from Gear 5, JV3. Yeah, really nice JV3 coming out on the side of Gear 5, but this is one of the things that makes the Krom matchup so painful. It's so exploitable to get back to stage, and if you do overshoot that wedge, you're pretty susceptible to any real late hit. This is one of the things that Ike and Krom both struggle with. That up B can be pretty negative, especially on shield, so if you are pretty delinquent in how you time it, it really does hurt overall. I think one of the ways that we can see Gear 5 open this up is going to somewhere like Town, and that could be a, dip, a huge benefit here. And Town almost made it. I believe Town and City was the last stage ban to bring us to Final Destination. I have to agree, just playing on an open spot like that closes out a lot of Krom's opportunities. You've got to play a rush down. You've got to play in the face. You don't have uh, platforms mm -hmm. to help set up combos. It's clunky, and I think Wolf just fares better on it. Waiting to see now if anybody has gone for a stage ban yet, but not quite, so... Well, the you know, the one thing that I was more so thinking is with those jab back air combos and the way that Krom does want to kill off the side, if you can hate, you know, tighten those blast zones, it just gives such a pressure advantage to yeah. Krom. We've seen players like Cola, Goblin, and others really capitalize on the fact that Town and City just enables Roy and Krom kills extremely early. The only downside to that is it also enables Wolf to just kind of set up an iron wall of blasters. He do be doing that sometimes. He, he do be hitting those blasters, and that's a mm -hmm. tough spot to be in. I mean, you're fully right, Ducks. It's difficult to get through that on a character like Krom. There's a lot. There's, I mean, I'd say many characters in the game struggle to break through that um, that wall, so to speak. Which yeah, is... and I think one of, the, one of the ways to do it is just through flickering shield. You yeah. know, if you flicker mm -hmm. shield, you have actually ways to kind of stagger that defense and slowly take backstage control. I think another reason we saw... Um, Glucose Guardian fall a little short there was due to the consistency of recovery, of uh, just spamming recovery on ledge or a little bit on stage. And with it being so punishable, a character like Wolf's gonna take that moment to strike. Like, it's a free shot. And we saw the dash attack take stock number one, almost stock number three as well. You've just gotta keep a close eye when you're recovering. You've gotta look for mix ups, you've gotta look for change ups. And I mean, Wolf's just ready for it. Clearly, Gear 5 was waiting for that moment. Yeah, and I think the other aspect that uh, if Glucose is able to piece together. It's just nailing those kill confirms and being so consistent. We can't really just let Aaron Smash Tags be the sole reason that yeah. we're driving those stocks off. With jab back air, that saves about 20 to 30% on the side of Glucose, where it's not, it's like, okay, I need to get a stray hit and hope for the best. But those, that jab back air, once you nail that timing, it's automatic. It's a 
bread and butter kill confirm that we see every Croy using to to maximum efficiency. Yeah, and efficiency is absolutely key to finding that level of success in a matchup like this one. The players are finally jumping into stage here, and I'm gonna guess it's Pokemon Stadium 2, considering the last message I see just says PS2 question mark, and there we are. Pokemon Stadium <laughs> 2 is online. These platforms, I think they're definitely gonna be something Gear 5 wants to stay away from or take full control of, because if Blue Coast Guardian gets cooking, they may not be able to stop in time. Yeah, I mean, part of this right now is Glucose needs to find a way to get in. You can see a lot of these aerial pressures coming in, but can't keep landing aggressively. Seems like Gear 5 has really picked off onto that habit. 96% online, 110. Now Gear 5 absolutely feels large and in charge of the matchup we are seeing at hand. Oh my goodness, the spot dodge to boot. Takes that first stock offline. Only 30% achieved off the side of Gear 5. Fully large and in charge. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really dominating pressure right now that you can see out on the side of Gear 5. But it feels like the biggest thing that he's exploiting is the constant commitment onto the side of Smash Attacks of Glucose. Smash Attacks have definitely been uh, a kryptonite, so to speak, of being able to exploit a moment to find it's time to strike. Okay, we see a little bit of a mix up there. Glucose okay. Guardian gets underneath. A bit of a combo. The turnaround hit. Last zone not close enough. Oh! Okay, I'm not even sure what clashed, but something certainly did. 117, Gear 5 back onto the stage, and Glucose Guardian finally getting that momentum. The only question, Ducks, is it just a little too late? Not just yet, but finding a way to poke back off onto the stage. Got to find a way to at least secure some kill pressure if you are on the side of Glucose Guardian. It barely makes it back to stage with the timing of the up B, and this is not a position you want to be in this crumb with this Telegraph recovery. 131, gets the read, takes Gear... Gear 5's first stock offline. Equalize the stocks, but certainly not the percent. 131, just a strong hit from death here. Short hop forward air is going to find a little bit of a hit. The recovery does not get punished. A small change up from Glucose not to roll onto stage right away. Keeps them standing a little bit longer. Grab, down throw, rush down, maybe dash attack, but it's the forward air that sends them back into the fray. There comes that wall of neutral bees. Recovery barely makes it back. Caught out once again. Glucose Guardian down to their final stock if Gear 5 keeps up this heat. Yeah, and right now, Gear 5, is the biggest thing that they're doing is just abusing a lot of these consistent combo starters where you're seeing these down throws, trying to find the extensions off of that. If Gear 5 is able to just kind of keep each string coming together and oh, jumps into the s hash, really unfortunate timing there. But that counter that you just saw right there, that's exactly what I'm worried about the most if I'm the Wolf player here. Absolutely, counter is a terrifying move. We actually saw him go for it back in the first set, whiffed it and fell, uh, fell. Uh, oh my goodness, fell down a stock because of the whiff. It's not where Glucose Guardian wants to be, but it's one of those moves, uh, very similar to um, the Joker counter. You can't be using it too often or it's gonna become telegraphed, it's gonna become predictable and your opponent can more often than not punish you for a play like that. So 75 to 79, 97 now online. The downer gets a bit of purchase, another odd trade, but one Glucose is glad to see. Don't really want to be above a wolf in this moment. Falls onto the platform to the left side. To be able to shield through a forward smash, gets shield and a move of their own. The jab finds gear five off stage. Grab it just back throw. Might even kill, but no, will not take it down. Neutral B gonna whiff. Looks for the two hit frame. Can't find a dash attack whipped as well, but that will clean it up. And gear five winning it with another two stocks on the board. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's just been constantly abusing this neutral getup habit that we're seeing out of the side of Glucose Guardian and really well played over.